On this episode of Worthy of Me, I'll be showing a one hour live playthrough of Irony Curtain from Matryoshka with Love. Before we get into it, I'd like to thank my current patrons for the support on my channel and any future ones. Currently, I'll only be live streaming a single hour of gameplay on my YouTube channel and then uploading it later. I stream the rest of it with my patrons on my Discord where they can watch and we can have some fun banter on it. If you don't know much about Irony Curtain from Matryoshka with Love yet, here's a little info. Take a look behind Irony Curtain in this satirical point-and-click inspired by the best works of LucasArts and Daedalic Entertainment. Experience their totalitarian Matryoshka through the eyes of Evan, a low-ranking goofy journalist involuntarily pulled right into the middle of an espionage standoff between two powers. Jump into the wacky spy adventure, uncover secrets of the bizarre communist country and the powerful capitalist empire, witness a story full of pre unpredictable twists and turns, and discover the true agenda of the mysterious supreme leader. What business might be the lo <laughs> might the loving father of the Matryoshkin nation have with the lowly capitalistic pinpusher? Why suddenly lift the irony curtain and welcome a stranger into Matryo Matryoshka? And why is there an alligator in the middle of the bathroom? And now, the gameplay. can't hear me they'll die because of me all right just jumps right into the game Let's see any interactive newish technology that's okay six two five six two five senior political officer Bretnyev. what is it citizen good day officer i what Ask how to stop the train. I'm at the train station and my train's leaving. Do you know how I can stop it? This doesn't really fit into our main ideology, but there's an emergency cabinet at the station. Inside the cabinet, there should be a shortwave radio. Unless it's been stolen, you can use it to contact the train's crew. Thank you. I can take it from here. Thanks for now, officer. Goodbye. Thanks for nothing, officer. All right, boxes. Driver, did you lose your key? Pay for the replacement. Then lose my key. Opening is forbidden. Can we open it anyway? The cabinet's tied up with rope. Yeah, and do we? Okay, we do have an open. Straightened bucket handle and a razor blade. Oh yeah. A key with a keychain shaped like a modern telephone. This dude's singing a song about how to like play the game. Oh, that's Miss Sesha with her kid. I hope at least they didn't get arrested. All right, we got ourselves a key. We don't have any coin. Oops. Dark. Well, yeah. Train driver's cabinet. Open at your own risk. 
So do we need to open that one then? Can we? First off, this is a bucket handle, not a lock. Pick. Oh my bad. Secondly, I'm not a burglar. I have no idea how to open a lock with a piece of wire. Well, it's there's never too late to learn. There's no point in combining these items. I didn't mean to. Sorry. It doesn't fit. Damn. This is the key to something else. If someone set the combination to their birthday, they must be very old. Uh, cause there's only three. <laughs> what could the combination be? Leave the padlock alone. Oh, six six six. Six six six. Nope. That doesn't work. Well, damn. One two three. Nope. That's not the combination. Zero zero zero. No, nope. that's not it. Man, come on. Sixty five. Six two five. Turns out the number to the ideological support center is not the right combination to this lock. Oh, man. I'll come back later. For emergencies only. Man, how am I supposed to open it? This is an emergency. I hope it's not too late and I can still stop the train. I already saw this symbol in several places. I was wondering what that was about. Look at all this luggage. Steal it. The leader's words can show you what? how to live correctly. Injured organ grinder. The Titanic also sank to the sound of music. Press the space Does there always have to be someone playing some during a tragedy? Even though right? Life isn't like typewriting. Hello, sir. I... Press hey! Can you hear me? I'm talking to you! Huh. Listen, comrade, yeah, when I'll make the arch gun. So he wants me to apparently press the space bar, and that's what happens. You don't need cool. Iron curtain left. Socialist Soyuz right. I don't think there's anything else I can do over here. I got a key. Ah. A coin worth seven point five five rupees. I take that. Sweet. All right, open the boxes again, because I know there's one place we can fit a coin in. All in all, life is just about finding the right key. Right? That's a solid key. I assume it must guard something important. Probably doesn't. Spoiler alert, this game has more characters in it? No! Why you gotta be like that, Nocturne? Don't spoil shit for me. Some dirty socks. And an apple core? Oh my god. Yuck. There's nothing worth seeing in there. Or 20. You're dumb and stupid, <laughs> but you know I love you. So if you forget the combination again, call me. M. I'm gonna assume it's 420. Oh, come on. I was sure that was <laughs> uh, that's not the right combination. Well, shit. Come back later. And before it's 024. Fine, yeah. You're oh, I, I, okay. Yeah. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, that's Miss Sesha with her. Yeah, yeah. So 420. Wait a minute. Zero. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm Vlad the Impaler. It's me, Vanya. Oh, it's you. I didn't recognize you. Your voice sounds different. You were eating pickles again. It's called you? puberty. Uh, uh, no, I wasn't. Uh, listen, this is very urgent. Mom? Did, did you just call me your mom? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I didn't drink anything. So you were eating pickles after all. I knew it. You're sleeping on the couch tonight. Uh, okay, okay. But now I need the combination to my lock. It's my birthday. I get it. Don't worry, Vanya. I wouldn't do that to you. Seven, seven, seven. Will you remember that? Three, seven. And don't worry about the pickles. 
You'll feel better in the evening. Uh, thank you. Time's a wasting, so. A wasting? You're talking funny, but if you want to hear what I'll do to you in bed tonight, my furry Wolverine. <laughs> oh. Whoa, lady! I'll call you later. Uh, bye. Furry Wolverine? I'm calling my boyfriend that now. <laughs> you furry Tasmanian devil. <laughs> and the correct combination is... Where's... Where's 377 at? Yes, it worked. Yes. Maybe I can contact the train driver. What is up with me eating pickles? Am I not allowed to eat pickles? Army issue. I saw the soldiers using these while I was driving through the army base. Radio. Army issue. I yeah, yeah. Button. Uh, bad reception. A radio without an antenna is like a waterfall. There's just noise. Can I use this as an antenna? <gasps> I can! Hello? Can anyone hear me? Yes, Comrade Minister, sir. Stop the train immediately! But, uh, comrade leader, order... Don't give a shit. Stop it. Uh, the situation has changed. Just a few days ago, I wouldn't have dreamt I'd be in a situation like this. Chapter 1 the call one day earlier in the states i was a simple young journalist back then speaking at an international conference on the beautiful idea that is communism all right the program i'm on is being broadcast live I've heard the camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> I hope I don't look too imposing. They want to show her face. The Placeholder Brothers is the largest manufacturer of telephones in the world. Please, watch what you say. He keeps warning us that the enemy could be behind every corner. Need some help? Call me, Mom. Five, 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 four, three. Five, seven. I like how he says the letters and numbers. Hey, Mom. They're not letters. Evan, Dad and I are just watching your conference. Huh. Thanks, Mom. If you need really? Anything, call us, okay? Good luck. Bye. He actually put his mom's number right there? <laughs> it's not really my mom. <laughs> uh, there's always plenty of time. Wow. Time is like going really fast. Uh, that's Mr. Uh, so and so. Uh, he's the representative for the organizer of the head of the conference. Such an important man. Oh, he looks important. Doesn't even have any eyes. <clears throat> what? Good day, sir. Sorry, uh, there's no entry here. The program is live. And uh, good day to you too, sir. Uh, while I appreciate your diligence. I am one of the speakers. I'm afraid I'm tardy, but I really must get inside. Uh, my speech is a glorious message that will enlighten and empower the good folks here. Mr. Tardy, eh? I find it strange that you're afraid of your own name, but let me check the list. Uh, no, no, I'm tardy, uh, not I'm tardy. I'm <laughs> Kowalski, Evan Kowalski. Mr. Tardy. And I'm tardy. I'm sorry, I, I don't have a Mr. Kowalski or a Mr. Tardy on the list of speakers. My speech fits the theme of the conference perfectly, since it's about communism and... But what? I, I must be on that list. Uh, besides, I, I received an invitation from you. Please, show it to me and we can clear all of this up. I don't have it on me, actually. Hmm. That is indeed an invitation from us. I told you. Please accept my apologies. No. I was not informed there was a schedule change. Uh, I think I can squeeze you in during the coffee break. Please proceed to the stage. Thank yeah, you. thanks, oh, jerk. Hey, don't worry. While you're walking across the stage, our producer will definitely be playing commercials. 
Why? Show me strap my stuff up there. Also, the coffee break is probably like two minutes long. Huh. One of the speakers he'll present after me. Eric and I go a few conferences back. We just have slightly different viewpoints. Just munching on a cigar. That's not how you smoke a cigar. That's my spot. <laughs> my spot. Not theirs. Mine. Okay. Okay. The first speaker for today. Let's go ahead and walk over to him. Please sit down already. Don't you tell me what to do. I hit the switch. Please stop interrupting. It's a commercial break. Shut up. Sir. We're broadcasting live. Please sit down. Man, you're killing my vibe, bro. Was he just like watching me the whole time? Showing red cake, new pork, new pork. Really? Coffee break is ten thirty. Who's gonna pay for the commies? Not me, that's for sure. Policy toward commies: fist and bottle or baseball bat. Met Metryushkin socialism is a threat to the civilized world. Information on who speaks when and about what. Yep. This is live. Oh my bad. It's live, you guys. But there's no screen. This looks like a little happy face right here. Don't tell me I'm wrong, because I'm not. Alright, I guess we'll go sit down. Since everybody's glaring at us right now. Good morning. My name is Sean Redkick, and I represent the people of New Pork, Blood Red Social. It's called New York, actually. Across the borders of our world, we can't just stand idly by and watch as the enemies of freedom undo what our fathers fought for. We're not gonna watch men die face down in the muck in this bloody war on the peninsula so that the red invasion can secretly pour into our country. Communist evil. Uh, communist evil. Uh, is like Santa Claus. <laughs> Duh. It's like a real Santa Claus. Thanks. Communist evil is like a real-life Santa Claus. Because it, uh, well, it sneaks into our houses, <laughs> doesn't it? And eats up all our cookies, leaves us presents that we have to return because no one wants another pair of socks. Wait, that's not what communist evil does. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> As we all know, enemy intelligence agents have infiltrated our country. They could even be here right now in our midst. Like, for example, right there, or over there. Maybe you're one, or your lovely wife there. Yeah, she's not she my wife. Be one. She's, she's my hooker. Tommy, look all right. She's or my you. slave. You or you? Yes, you are a communist spy, a sleeper agent working in the shadows. And Watch someone get up and run. I just dream of apples. It's gotta be it, right? They dream of apples. Yes, exactly. They dream of apples because an apple is a great symbol. Well, what it is is a downright tasty snack. Uh, oh, well, they're delicious. Um, they're good in pies. Fritters are good. Uh, let's come back to this. I urge you all to stay vigilant. And even Everyone in the audience is like, what is he even saying? Communist activity should be reported to the authorities immediately. In closing, I would like to... Take back everything I said. <laughs> Thank Evan Kowalski. Declare that I am a socialist. Recite a poem. Oh, we're gonna... We're gonna recite a poem. You know what? I was torn between take back everything I said. I do like thinking, well, I didn't make any sense. I don't really want to thank Evan. I would like to recite a poem. You probably wanted to recite a poem. Evan is red, violets are blue. I'm no longer listening to you. As I've just been informed by our producer, instead of our planned break, 
We will have an unplanned guest. It just so happens I have already had the displeasure of being smeared in his rag of a newspaper. I'm sure you'll all love him. Ladies and gentlemen, Evan Kowalski. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. Just runs. We got like a poop. You lecture from the lectern. Ha! I just now got that. First, I need to show the slides and play the glorious Matryoshkin National Anthem. Is he telling that to the audience? Switch. Go. Switch. Slide holder. Let's see what's in our suitcase. Got slides. Take all this. The inside of my suitcase has nothing in it. All right, let's put in the slides. I can't jam the slides into the holder since it's inside the projector. Okay, don't do that. Just to open this bad boy. Ah, there we go. We're gonna find the slides with this. New Era's Conquest, a power play, finally on three wheels. Little Evan learning to pee. Women on tractors. Um Take that one there. Power play. New areas of conquest. Bath time. Women on tractors. And we're gonna end it with the flag. Oh, never mind. But there's another slot. I guess that's good. We gotta look like a little cute child, right? Right? Yeah. Switch. Why do we not have a screen? Empty frame. This supposed to be a white sheet right there, right? Dang, there's something wrong with the screen. There's nothing there, that's what's wrong with it! Oh, can I take this cloth? Oh, wait a minute. I thought I could take the cloth. There's a cloth right there. Let me have it. Gramophone, okay. We have a he, the sandwich mark. Oh, march. Sandwich march, got it. 78 Ooh Empty front Okay, so where is Anything for that speech folder? Damn, my whole speech is out of order. Oh shit! Oh no, the end is coming. I'll put that as number one. Run to us the right way. I think understanding between nations bring the world's peace should be the start. And then the end is coming. The leader of majors can save us. Leader, save us. Yes. Got it right. Got it right. 
I don't think I got it. I think I did it wrong. Is it really not gonna let me out until I like have everything correctly? <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I did it. And my teacher said I had <laughs> cognitive issues. Cognitive issues. Okay, so what if I put he on there? What the hell is this shit? Boo! 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 I still need to show the slides. <laughs> oh god, they hate me. I mean, I have nothing... Empty front. I have nothing to put there. Coffee break's gonna be over soon. How do you like the subject of my speech? Eric, you know full well I don't share your... I worked on it all weekend. All weekend. A man like you could learn a lot from it. I don't think you should. Fine, Evan. Be that way. I can see we aren't going to get anywhere. Offer him a free subscription. Uh, listen, Eric. Let me school you on how sweet, sweet communism works. In fact, I'll give you a subscription to my great paper free of charge just to open your eyes. You know, unlike your precious Matryoshka, we don't have a toilet paper shortage in the States, so I won't have any use for your paper. You should read it more often. I write about you in it a lot. Too bad none of it is true. So you didn't have anything to do with thousands of retirees losing their life savings when you closed that bank? Screw you! I don't give a crap about your newspaper or your retirees. I'll gladly use that quote for the next issue. Well, they're friendly. We've stopped bumping into each other lately. See? Ever since you started smearing people in your newspaper. Oh, uh, I think you mean shining a blinding light on greedy, profiteering, capitalist schemes. No one wants to invite you anywhere anymore. It's sad. I heard you've been going to conferences about raising hamsters. Ferrets! Not hamsters. Ferrets. Don't kid yourself, Eddie. Your daily worker monthly is in the crapper, deeper than a toilet brush, and doomed to be forgotten. just don't want to see you go down with the newspaper, but you will if you don't get your nose out of other people's business. You know what? I've already published 20 issues, and I'm just finishing the 21st. How many people read it, anyway? Isn't it just you and your old man? No. I mean, sure, Dad does make up a sizable portion of my readership, but you know, that's neither here nor there. And besides, I have it on good authority that my mother reads it as well. Ha! Bet you feel pretty dumb about now, don't you? Besides, people need to be informed on the only correct ideological stance. I can't even tell if you're kidding or not. Yeah. What about you? How do you even look at yourself in the mirror every morning? A man with your wealth and connections could do a lot of good for society. You mean the ideological stance where I hand out my money to hippies in the park until we all have the same amount? It's a pipe dream. A false utopia. Open your eyes. There will always be the rich and the poor. Look, I'm rich. And let me tell you something. I'm not giving away my money. Eric, it's not about how much money you have. It's whether you feel like a good person or not. My wife just hired a second pool boy, and my kids bully the best kids at the best schools. Yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Capitalists take matters into their own hands, while communists only use theirs to beg for charity. Maybe communists give away money left and right, but bourgeoisie capitalists only give it in one direction, as you would know. <coughs> <You're> bourgeoisie capitalist. <laughs> Let it go already. 
You're just mincing words now. This isn't over. I'm gonna turn the uh, volume for the voiceovers up. Cause he whispered a lot during that. <laughs> you can really understand. Wait, what? Wait, what? Yeah, exactly. Wait, what? Yeah. Seriously. Wait, what? Okay, calm down. We'll give you a thousand collars to return to whatever hole you. Wow, these out people. <laughs> you can't buy me, sir. After all, my ideas have no worth. I, I mean, they're priceless. That's what I meant. This conversation is painful. I'd rather watch cement heart in a barrel that I'm sitting in. Will 5,000 guarantee I never see you again? Money isn't everything, you know. Yes, what? it will. <laughs> now he makes jokes. Uh, what did I say that was so funny? Money is everything. Money can do everything. You wouldn't happen to be, uh, threatening me right now, would you? Not directly. Comic garbage like yourself is worthless. Hey, you just offered me 5,000 collars. Which I'll gladly take. Have taken it and returned to your slums or wherever it is you nest. Boy, you're a real dick. I can afford to be. And I think that a bourgeoisie capitalist pig like yourself could really benefit from my speech. Did you? I was uh, uh, speaking metaphorically, uh, pigs are actually quite clean animals. They eat away. anything and everything. No. <laughs> Hurry up! People are waiting for the speech to begin. Yeah, I need the canvas. Thank you. You know, I am prepared to give a slide presentation, and at the risk of you calling me. Mr. Prepared, <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that there's no canvas on the projector screen. Mr. Kowalski, please understand you weren't on the list, so we didn't receive any instructions regarding your needs. Fortunately, we are professionals, so I have some canvas right here. There will be a break soon, and someone will install it. No, no, uh, no need for a break. I'll put it up myself in no time. The working class of the cities and farms isn't afraid of a little hard work. As you wish. Here you go, the projector canvas. Yeah, it just has a I told you there was a screen right there. I apologize for my ignorance, but I received the invitation only an hour ago. Hmm, that's strange. I, I wrote my speech in the taxi on the way over. So, uh, I'm curious. Is this being broadcast to the entire world? Well, Mr. Curious. You know, that joke wasn't all that funny the first time. We have the largest coverage in the world. Do you think they're watching us in Matryoshka? I doubt the authorities there allow their people to watch Western television. Or any, for that matter. What are you talking about? You should get back to the stage. Okay, I'm going back to the stage. They're so snarky around here. Let's put the screen up. So they can view my beautiful baby photos. The screen's too high up. I can't reach it. Damn you. Bring it on down. Bring it on down. They are capitalist pigs. All right, bring it up. Oh yeah. Wait. I, got... I already did that. Oh, never mind. Sorry, Jesus. <laughs> no, mom. The slides for my presentation all mixed up. Oh man. Fix this quick. <laughs> Meanwhile, everybody looked at them. It's fine. It's just a bunch of important people, that's all. Okay. 1927, 1944. <laughs> Why does he even have these on him? Got 1927, 1945, 1947, 1950. Okay, okay, we got it now. We got it now. Why are they with the slides for the speech? 
Got it. Okay, I don't got it. It's going in reverse order. Oh man! Damn it! Tell me they're in reverse order. Okay. Here we go. 27, 45, 47, 49, 50. Sweet. We got it. We freaking got it. We're gonna show us the baby pictures. Can't tell me that's wrong. Oh, man. oh my goodness. So we have to do it correctly. It's gonna make us do it correctly. such a turd. Okay. 43. I don't want to do it correctly. Leader, father of the nation. 49. Okay, we're gonna nix all the little child pictures of me. Should be good. Should be like actually good right now. Actually good. Mm -hmm. Shut up. All right, now for my speech. Don't give a shit about you people. Shout out to Nocturne. Good morning, comrades. Those in the studio and those watching at home. If you're thinking, where have I seen this dapper gentleman before, then perhaps you were in Booniesville several days ago at the HASP Manufacturers Conference, where I spoke about the responsibility of the working class in building a single class society. A little about me. My name is Evan Kowalski, and I am the editor in chief of the Daily Worker Monthly. Uh, by the way, I highly recommend buying a subscription. I have come here today, quite unexpectedly, with a very important, exciting ideological message. Communism is good. In fact, communism is the best. Boo! Boo! There is no room in our country for communism. Shut your commie mouth, Evan. Get lost! <laughs> now, gentlemen, there's no need to get angry. Are you telling our viewers that poor people shouldn't have more money? Do you hate the poor? Are you against the idea that every human being is equally important and entitled to a fair chance? Are we not all humanitarians? I won't be part of this farce. And there, you see? He runs away using his costly running shoes. Do the poor <laughs> not deserve to run? I wonder if one of my other colleagues will engage me in a debate. I'm interested to see how they will claim that education, culture, and industry is not in our common national good, and how every citizen should not have the same equal rights to reap their benefits? Enough! Ha! See? That's what I thought. No one's brave enough for such a challenging discussion. Okay, then. Let's move on to the powerful beacon what? that is beautiful Matryoshka. Awesome. Hey, hey, just welcome to the, the experience. The Union Enjoy your the stay. Alliance. Don't forget to check out the giveaways. Uh, Matryoshka serves as a shining example of communism done right. Get off the stage, Tommy! All glory and honor they love me. The they love me. Infallibly and confidently leads his nation towards a bright future. Boo! Get out of here before I burn the building down. I'm picking up on a little tension in the room. So, uh, how about a joke? Uh, uh what would we have in the states if we didn't have capitalism? Everything. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
He needs to die. I'm at the meeting of the party. Make it quick. Glory to Matryoshka, comrade leader. Ah, uh, Major Orlova. How's your uh, vacation? Is he really at a party right now? More fruitful than ever. Please turn on the capitalist channel, comrade leader. What the hell? Comrade leader. Bring him to me at once. Yes, comrade leader. For the glory of Matryoshka. Fifty-nine minutes later. Not sixty. Fifty-nine. In the leader's heart. Uh, in conclusion to this undoubtedly illuminating speech, I will tell you, comrades, my greatest wish that one day our nations will join together and goose step, I, I mean, uh, march uh, together in the one true direction towards a stronger state. Join together with Matryoshka. Stop the program! I Shut up, lady. Thank you, comrades, for your attention, and I wish you a good day. Deja food. Maybe they had like little baskets by people's feet filled with tomatoes just in case someone wasn't liked and they could throw the tomatoes. Keep them coming, people. Keep them coming. That's right. Don't hit me though. It's called preparations. <laughs> Hello, beautiful stranger. Don't stare at the gorgeous, mysterious stranger. Don't stare at the gorgeous, mysterious stranger. Don't... Oh. I've been staring this whole time, haven't I? She's got one leg poking out, like, Come here, big boy. All right, Jessica Rabbit. Let's call mom be like, Mom, I'm about to do some very naughty things. Pray for me. Wonderful presentation. The Matryoshkin authorities are impressed with your work. As am I. Uh, oh, uh, thank you, Miss... Uh... I'm Anna. Anna Iglov. Someone will contact you once you get home. In case of any emergency, this envelope will help you contact me. We'll meet again soon, comrade. Yeah. Anna. Authorities. Envelope. Wait, what? He's Twitter pated. Did did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it, manager? This is an outrage, Mr. Oh, Kowalski. Thank you. I mean, I know political discourse can become disagreeable, but to throw perfectly good fruit at a man for his views is an unconscionable breach of common courtesy. I was talking about your presentation. Now then, please get out and never come here again. Ah, one more thing. We'll send you the cleaning bill. What? Well then, I'll expect you to deliver the tomatoes with it. I'll make ketchup. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll make ketchup. <laughs> That's the door. It's also known as the only way out. Good to know. Hey, were we on air at all? Home sweet home. Oh, you're back. How did it go? It went great. Well, up until I started. Then everyone just laughed. As usual. Oh, uh, by the way, some tomatoes should be arriving soon. So, that's something. Oh, uh, you had a call from Matryoshka. Your mother memorized the number. They said you should call them back. Oh, one more thing. You remember that record, the sandwich march? Yeah? What about it? I've decided that... Since I'm a man now, I'm too old for that kind of music. I gave it to the cab driver as a tip. You, you, that was a rare limited edition pressing. It was worth hundreds of dollars. Oh, I see. Huh, really? Well, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. And this man just lost hundreds of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose just don't worry about it. And chin up. 
You were great on TV. It went well aside from the tomatoes. No, the tomatoes were the best part. He's like, oh man, I don't have any tomatoes on me. The oven oh is man, empty. the oven's empty. <laughs> Envelope from Anna. Let's just put this the in there. Become a democracy before that works. Okay. The timer will let me know when the food's ready. Technology sure is something. <laughs> If I was getting paid for bad ideas, I'd have a big check. Oh, trust me, you would. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't do that. Alright, let's let's turn it all off. The oven is empty. Close it! Thank you. Ooh. Cold instant turkey. That looks delicious. There's a cold instant turkey in the pot. It's inedible when cold, but delicious when it's hot. We're gonna take that. It on there it'll be ready to eat in a minute We're gonna wait a minute's not that long right guess we should, should shut the fridge yeah it's down here though nothing's down here in the oven stop ticking cold is the turkey still man this instant is a lie Come on, baby. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Okay, it kind of is instant turkey. But eat that shit. Mm, this is practically a delicacy to my family. He just ate all of it. I'm gonna take this steaming hot empty pot. Let's open this. Well, let's see what she wrote here. Comrade Evan, stay vigilant. We believe someone might have seen us together. If you get caught, please deny everything. I await your signal, Anna Eagle. Well, let's see what she wrote here. Oh, we're gonna know. If you, I await. Yeah, Anna yeah. What? Flower pot outside the window. An empty basic pot in which a delicious turkey used to sit. Turkeys sure are great. Oh, wow. Mom adds new flowers to the tablecloth every year. My dad, John Kowalski, is just a regular, everyday traveling salesman. He gets secretive phone calls, he mysteriously leaves on short notice, just your typical blue-collar guy. I'm still wondering why he had mom's number written next to the phone. Can he really not remember their number? Alright, cool, let's waste electricity. That's always fun. Door to the basement? That is a really small door. Harry, Harry, you in there? Tech support. It's amazing that you can simply dial a number and find out the time, the season, solutions to problems, <laughs> you name it. You need to dial a number to figure out what season it is? Five, 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 four, six, Three, six. Jim's electronics store. This is the tech support hotline. How can I help you? She looks uh, thrilled. My name is Evan Kowalski. Oh no, you again. I am really regretting our free tech assistance policy for anything bought at our place of business. So, what would you like to torture me over? I mean, ask me about this time. Where can I get a potted flower? to put a potted flower on the window, but we don't have any flowers in the house because I'm allergic to plants. Where am I going to find a potted flower? Well, you could try and build one, maybe. Just get some household items and make something that looks like a flower. Lady, you need to calm down. Just answer my question, okay? 
We have a pot. Where would I find something that looks like a blooming flower? Hmm. Look around the house to see if you can't cut a fake flower off of something. My mother-in-law sews flowers onto anything she can get her hands on. Towels, curtains, tablecloths, napkins, you name it. That's a great idea. My mom embroiders like she's working a nine to five. While you're looking around, you'd better find yourself something sharp to cut that flower off with. I've got scissors in my <laughs> and room. And then stab yourself. Thanks for the advice. What can I make a flower stem out of? Do you have any floral ornaments in the house? Oh, what do you mean exactly by floral ornaments? Uh, all right. Uh, do you have anything at the house that resembles a plant? Well, there's this flower stand we have in the basement. Its base looks like, oh, wow, I'm a genius. There's a metal stem in the base of the stand. Great. Can you remove it? Uh, no, I don't think so. Do you have metal cutting scissors in the house? Yes, my dad keeps these big ones in the same safe he keeps his guns in. Yeah, well, you really should stop telling people that. <laughs> Try picking up one of these guns and checking if it's loaded. What can I use for a pot? I assume you have a kitchen, and in that kitchen, there are pots. Correct? Ah, and you'd probably be better off putting something in the pot than sticking the stem into it. Oh, we've got some garden soil. I bet that'll work. I can handle it from here. Thank you. I shouldn't need to call you again. I pray for that every day. <laughs> I need to place an urgent call to Matryoshka. What do I need to do? The country code for Matryoshka is uh, 007, but you need to know the rest of the number. Do you have it? No, but my mom does. Then I suggest you go to get your mommy and ask her for the number. Okay, I think I understand. Well, <laughs> get your mommy. Bye, Let's call the office. Five, 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 three, two, five, three. Hello? Hello? Falcon. Who? No, this is Evan. Evan Kowalski. I... Ah, Evan. Your parents have the day off, so they should be home. Correct? They sure are, random person. Good. You can tell them everything's okay on the farm. The That's ominous. are carrying. Can you tell them that? Ooh, I hope that means omelets in the morning. I'll make sure to tell them, whoever you are. Bye. Farewell. Omelets? Yes! When I was little, I wasn't allowed in the basement because my parents kept strange things down there. But now that I'm older, I can make my own decisions. Like, not going down there. I'm gonna go down there anyway. No, I'm not gonna make us some freaking omelets, okay? Black with numbers. Nine? 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 Okay, that wasn't right. My parents are still afraid a war will break out, but I can't imagine with whom. Our country is nice to everyone. I bet it is. The neighbor's cat must have gotten tired of waiting for us to open the window. Telephone switchboard? Oh god. That's not a cat. A telephone switchboard. We're a modern family, after all, and my parents have to make a lot of overseas calls for their jobs. I'm not allowed to look in there. That's where Mom keeps her chemicals. Now go ahead and stick your head in there, then. My parents use a lot of gardening soil, because they're always replanting things around the garden. Can we use that? Years ago, I made a solemn vow to never again ride a bike. Without training wheels. Those skinned up knees still haunt me to this day. The metal floral designs look like the stem of an exotic flower. Hmm, I wonder what they're planting. What's in the closet? It's locked because mom and dad said there's nothing in there anyways. Why would you lock it if there's nothing in there? Come on. Strange. I don't remember this being locked. You just said they always lock it! You oxymoron. Hey, 
There we go. Now it looks like a flower pot. Yeah. Yeah. As effective as the political opposition of Matryoshka. Alright, I guess we can't do that then. So we need something like this solid? That's mom's gonna love that. Oh, good thing my mom put my clothes in the washer, since I don't have any clean socks for tomorrow. Oh, sass me, Nocturne. My mom is in charge of the laundry, so I better ask her if it's done first. Ah, <laughs> oh, this guy. Oh, she cleaned in my room too? Mom, you're the best. This is where I assemble my newspaper, the Daily Worker Monthly. I'm putting the finishing touches on the 21st issue in record time. It's been a long two years, but <laughs> it'll be worth it. The previous anniversary issue sold a record breaking 144 copies. Oh, yeah. I got clothes. clothes. Mom always does it for me because she irons so much better than I do. I uh, I think that spot's clean, Mom. I mean, I don't really know for sure, but if there's one thing I like, it's music. If there are two things, it's music and pudding. Oh, there's my photos. It's too bad my parents never took photos of me when I was really little. <laughs> I must have been a dreadfully cute baby. Or like hunchback in Notre Dame, maybe. A white bulb on a blood red background. Ah, the essence of matryoshkinism. Oh, we're just gonna take that. Where do? Oh, he just moved to the side. Okay. A book. Thanks to this book, I will be able to see Matryoshka with my own eyes one day. Take it. What do we get? Gulliver's Travels. Oh, passport. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump out the window. A beautiful view of the street from my window. Five K something a Mark D. Whatever the hell that means. Mom, you're in the uh, way. It'd be a socialist paradise living there, but no one's gotten a visa to Matryoshka in decades. Jane Kowalski is the ideal mom. The entire house is spanking clean, and she still finds times for her hobbies like shooting, judo, knife fighting, helicopter lessons, ooh, and needlepoint. What kind of mom is she? Hi, how was the conference? A nice girl came to hear me speak, and she said she loved it. It turned out she was from Matryoshka, and she said they'd heard about me there. Do you understand? About me. I also got an envelope from her that was sealed with Matryoshka's coat of arms. Hmm, that must be a very important envelope. Well, it sounds like you had quite the day. A speech and a new friend. Way to go, honey. Uh, can I turn off the washing machine yet? Oh, no, not yet. I'll let you know when it's done. Uh, Dad said someone called for me. Oh, yes. They were calling from Matryoshka and said you can call them back at 007-1234. Oh, and give them the password. Zagristla. Thanks, Mom. Can you, can you spell that, Mom? Ah, there's one more thing. I was bored and called your work, and a man asked me to give you this message. Uh, okay, I got this. Okay, I got a cover, Doctor. Something about poultry, and it's carrying something? I understand. Thank you, son. The world's going to end. Thank I you, need honey. To take care of a few things. Damn, my floor is spotless. You got a call from Matt. I know, Dad. I already talked to Mom. I'll call them back soon. Thank you for watching this episode of Worthy of Me. If you found it worthy, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to have you as part of our community.
and I will see you all on the next video.